What's that? Y'all staying uh, clean out there, man? Washing your hands five times a day. <laughs> Subscribe right now. We are headed to HEB, you guys. Let's go check this Hi. out. Everybody's making a big deal about the coronavirus and we're going to be in quarantine. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. So they're trying to stock up on stuff. And last time I went, low key, the only shelves that were empty were like the soap and then the toilet paper. And we out of napkins. So we need napkins. So hopefully we can find some. But y'all are going to come with us to go check it out to see what they got going on um i read a post that h-e-b tweeted saying that they are fully ready to stock up and provide us with everything man h-e-b got their own trucks they got all the vegetables everything's right here in texas so man h-e-b ain't finna run out of nothing hey h-e-b loving this because everybody's spending up their money over there at their store yeah and i know that in the city it's like really really hectic because it's in the city like the population is a lot bigger but we on the outskirts yeah so we're more like outside the city going towards the country we're not in that madness y'all got going on over there so hopefully it's not hectic over here but we're about to see well sunday y'all like i'm not even gonna lie that parking lot looks super packed and it's early in the morning only time it looked like that is on super bowl sunday christmas and thanksgiving oh my god for real though Y'all don't touch nothing. I I really tried to do the curbside pickup when well, we wouldn't even have to come up in here. We can just do the curbside pickup. And it said I wouldn't be able to get my order till Thursday. Today's Saturday. For a whole five, six days. So that's when we realized that this was kind of serious and we had to come ourselves to the store and get um everything we need. Lucky is like running in there. Look at him. He don't ever get no damn wipes. He don't ever sanitize his car. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't ever do this. <laughs> you got a broom, broom, Houston. So we caught um, somebody outside and they basically told us that there was no milk and that there was like no toilet paper, but that they have a lot of other stuff that, you know, we could put to use. So I came like two days ago and I did stock up on milk and toilet paper. So I was good on that. Lucky's over here getting like hygiene stuff like for his teeth. <laughs> get one so look at this you guys yup and then it says you're only limited to two bottles oh my god we're in the baby section you guys look what in the world what's this Look at that. Wipes are gone. Let me stock up on these pull-ups because we ain't got time for that. Look at all that. The wipes are gone. No wipes. There's some over there, I think. Well, I have a whole bunch at home. So now we have to get Yaya some food. These are just treats. I don't know, we'll get her a little treat. Hey, 
Yeah, so usually they are like super stocked on dog food and look at this. Luckily we got to get the one Yaya eats, but this is serious, huh? These are super cute. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at this. Babe, this is where the toilet paper and napkins are. Oh, what? <laughs> this is crazy. Are you kidding me? We came for napkins. That's what we came for, to get some napkins. Man, H-E-B got their own trucks. They got all the vegetables. Everything's right here in Texas. So, man, H-E-B ain't finna run out of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> OMG. We got the last two big packs of napkins over here in the party section. <laughs> No eggs. I don't know if y'all can see that. What do you think, babe? I don't like this. I do not like it. I like the home might you be having it full of stock. Look at this. It's empty, you guys. No milk. No milk. Guys. I guys. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Wait, we need coffee creamer, babe. At least I'm stocked up on coffee. Chips are gone. Got some jalapeno, jalapeno barbecue. Whoa. <laughs> what happened to your meal? <laughs> oh, it's a cheat weekend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my You've been cheating all week, boy. <laughs> I've been working out, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what in the world? It looks like we're really going, like, into quarantine. Like, if we're really, like, <laughs> it's the end of the world. Like, do you see this? There's nothing in the meat market. Look. Oh my god. Nuggie's like, oh, they're not buying all the steak, though. What happened, Houston? What happened? Where's all the food? Right there. Right there? <laughs> I just want to say, you guys, <laughs> we got to take it serious because. They're running low on food. They're running low on supplies. And that's what you have to take serious. Be prepared in case of they shut the whole city down and they tell us you can't go nowhere. That's their plan from the jump so we can spend all our money. Well, we're not tripping. I feel like we're good. Gonna get some salmon. I'm about to go and start getting all the veggies and stuff. So we can head out of here as soon as possible. Mmm, conchas. Maybe I should get some conchas? What do y'all think? What are you doing? <laughs> you munching away. He doesn't even know what's going on. We did pretty good. I thought it was going to be like 400 bucks. It's gonna be around 257. Update. Keep your eye on the donut and not the hole. <laughs> That's his new favorite thing. I really don't get it at all. So we're heading out. Hi. <gasps> It's 
next day, but we gonna, ain't nothing gonna stop us from barbecuing, man. Ain't no coronavirus gonna stop us from barbecuing on a Sunday. When y'all grow up, y'all be like, my dad barbecued every Sunday, whether it was a hurricane, a tornado, a black plague, coronavirus whatever it was the end of the world we gonna barbecue <laughs> we gonna we gonna go out with a bang <laughs> he legit stocked up on steak like he bought a whole bunch of steaks oh, and chicken and, oh. i made him get hammered to make some like, made cheeseburgers i did get hammered i know sorry i made you we didn't even get uh buns though use regular bread what y'all can use regular bread good old white bread put your seatbelt on yeah you too Hey, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Y'all, if y'all in Houston and y'all need something to do tomorrow, y'all come on down to Get Rep Church. We're going to be at church at 10 a.m. with Pastor Juan. Y'all come check us out. We're going to be there tomorrow at 10 a.m. He told me to tell y'all to invite the whole city out so we can have a place of worship tomorrow, 10 a.m. Get Rep Church on Aldine Westfield. We're going to be signing autographs, taking pictures. <laughs> Why are you lying? <laughs> but I will have some merch on deck if y'all want to get, get, get a t-shirt or something. I'm, um, I'm excited to get home. <laughs> I low key just want to go home and... Play with all your stuff you got at H-E-B? No, not play with it. I have the worst heartburn ever right now. I don't know why. Like, all last night, it was that Texas, killing me. That chicken fried steak you ate that was bigger than your belly. I kept having to sit up because I felt like it was just, good, like, eating my throat. Like, it was just burning my insides. That's how bad it was. I got up to take some Tums, like, twice. You did? Yes. And I hate Tums. But we just wanted y'all to come with us to H-E-B experience what we experienced while we were there because we didn't know it was that serious i'm telling you i was here like two days ago but since um donald trump announced that it was like a disaster what, what did he say what do you call it he called it a national disaster yeah since he but he didn't want to go get tested he was sitting down with that dude that was from brazil. south america brazil who had who had coronavirus and gave it to the mayor of miami or who was it governor of florida mayor of miami somewhere over there done caught it mm -hmm. And old Trump was sitting there with him and he don't want to get tested. He need, he need to go put his ass in a tent. He need, they need to put Trump in a quarantine. Hey, I think we need to start doing another cash giveaway because I know that a lot of people don't got money to go buy the groceries. Like we just went and spent a bunch of money at the grocery store. And I know a lot of people out there don't got the money to go do that. And they're gonna be at, their kids are gonna be home. A lot of times kids only eat when they get their lunch at school. That's when they eat. They depend on that school lunch. So, Y'all type in the comments and let us know if y'all need some help this week. We're going to do a drawing uh, every week starting this week, and we're going to pick names out of a hat because, you know what I'm saying, we can't be biased, man. You know what I'm saying? But only if you need the help, man. If you don't need it, don't be putting your name down there. But if you need the help, drop your name in the comments, and we're going to draw names out of a hat, and we're going to send y'all some money, man. We're back from the grocery store. We're making lunch right now, and... We're cooking something healthy today. We got Kingston on the camera, being the cameraman. This right here is called chard, if you did not know. And we're done with this chard. We're getting that green, throwing it in there like if it was some spinach or something. But that's nice and healthy. We're going to, I know how to cure anybody, man. It's Dr. Luck. You think you're gonna get sick around here? No, 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 no. We're gonna eat healthy. <laughs> Nobody getting sick around here. See this right here? It's all you need to get healthy and cure any disease. Some garlic, some lemon, some, some onions, some greens. I'm trying to tell you, man, nature will heal you. You just gotta eat right. Keep your immune system strong. Tell them, baby, tell them again. Say it loud. <laughs> Say it so the back can hear you, baby. <laughs> and then we're going to cut up this nice, good organic Nor Norwegian or organic salmon. Hold up, baby. I'm over here peeling shrimp. While she peeled the shrimp, first thing we're going to do is squeeze some lemon. Got to have that lemon. 
Yum, that looks so good. Hold up, then we're gonna get the salt. Get them lemon seeds off of there. Should I cut it in half? We got we got orange peppers in there, red peppers in there. Look, we got these right here. Red peppers, orange peppers, chard, zucchini, shrimp, little cherry tomatoes, and we're gonna put some broccoli. And then we're gonna put the top on and let it do its thing. Mm -hmm. Is y'all ready? Y'all ready to see this masterpiece, man? Chef Lucky in the building. I'm a man of many hats. I wear many hats. Dr. Luck, Chef Luck, you know what I'm saying? Pastor Luck. I know a little bit about everything, man. And I know one thing. When y'all went, went and raided H-E-B and y'all took everything off the shelf, y'all left me just what I needed, man. Leah, Leah, you want some shrimp? I do, yes. That's mom's plate, right, Cha? Yes. Let me go get toys, or toys, or toys, or toys. Can't eat shrimp without a tortilla. Yeah, luckily they had tortillas at H-E-B. That's big pet. They didn't run out of tortillas. Is that shrimp good, Leah, Leah? Mm -hmm. You like that fish, Cece? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Double thumbs up. We went and got Constance from Victoria, Texas, and she's spending spring break with us. I'm waiting until Kelly get over here because she always says I eat. With, by the time Thank she sits down, I'll be done eating. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Mama, what do you want thank to drink? You, Kelly. All right, we're going to get up out of here and enjoy this lunch. And uh, before we get out of here, we want to give a shout out to Juan Salinas. Happy birthday, Juan Salinas. And, and Brianna Marie. Turning 10 years old. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hey, don't forget, leave your name in the comments. And uh, if you're trying to get some help for some uh, some some groceries, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be giving a, a weekly giveaway. So we're going to draw names out of, in tomorrow's vlog. So leave your name and your email address in the comments. And we're going to pick names tomorrow. So watch tomorrow's vlog and see if you want. Church.